we just finished like a 70 hour work week. We just rolled a 14 page paper. Um, One of the we rolled it that we didn't know existed time. about four yeah. hours ago. Seven minutes early, Five, six, actually. Seven, yeah, early, which is impressive. We're Thanks to me lot. and the work of everybody else here. <laughs> <laughs> it was mostly my doing. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. This is early. I can't remember. It's a typical daily thing, not even just Dan. weekly. Yeah. Yeah, we're I can't remember here. going to bed before 3:30. We're usually here, and I am here at least until two. We drink what? a lot of coffee. We don't sleep a lot. Um, we don't do any homework. We do if we have to do homework, we do it in little bits in here. It's yeah. difficult to um, do class. Interpersonal. Oh, oh. We shouldn't sleep. A lot of people's grades suffer because, like, you know, it's tough. When you're balancing, you know, trying to have a, you know, trying to get your career going and also doing things here, it's tough to find time for schoolwork. Yeah. So it's very, very difficult. Yeah. But you know, because we're so passionate about journalism, we do try to make time for it. But sometimes the GPA just, yeah. it doesn't show that we're working as hard as we actually are. I feel like journalists have like a notoriously low GPA. I also it comes with experience doing other things. The sports editor two years before me, who's now has a steady job at USA Today as a copy editor was a fifth year senior and probably graduated with like a 2.3 GPA. I feel like it's kind of a question of priorities though. Like I've learned more in this room than I have in three years of journalism school. Um, I mean, I just get more out of it being here. And I mean, Mike, crazy, Mike's much? in the unique position of what, you, you've dropped it entirely right yeah, now. Yeah, Mike hasn't uh, anything. sort <laughs> of echoing what Rich just said, I dropped the journalism major when I realized that the experience I was getting here was more important and more beneficial and fun than the classes I was taking in journalism. And I think in people terms in the of journalism here. Sorry. And I think people in the journalism school get it. I had when I was a freshman, I had an associate dean come into a class of mine and say that your GPA, pardon my French, but your GPA doesn't mean shit. He said he said that like to a class of mine, like you know. So they get it. Like they get that the only way you're going to learn journalism is by actually doing journalism. Um, mm -hmm. So you know, it's definitely an experience-based field. We yeah. Just, yeah. Because it's a daily paper, we get that learning curve that's so high because you can write like. 10 articles in a whole semester, whereas here you might write 10 in two weeks. And I've seen it in real life too. I mean, uh, I, I've been applying for jobs and no one's ever asked for a transcript. I mean, they don't care. Um, the people that ended up offering me a job when I graduated originally asked me to drop out of college and go work for them. Like, it just doesn't matter.